All right, welcome to Activity Time. I'm Isaiah, and today we're gonna to make homemade stress balls. Now, today we are going to be using a few things, again, like that you can find around the home, um, and then some things that you may just have to go to the store that you can buy for inexpensive um, prices. So today, we are gonna need a funnel. We are going to need some kind of powder. So I have sugar and salt here. Um, you can have, you can use flour, you can also use beans, rice, um, anything that you can probably fill with the balloon. Uh, we have scissors. I have a black marker here if you choose to draw on your balloon. And I have a bucket here to avoid any messes and everything. And of course, some balloons. Our first step, you're gonna grab your balloon. I like to have the bucket right in front of me so that way you can work right over it. That way you can avoid any sugar or any salt or anything that you're gonna pour into the balloon um, from falling on the ground. So first, we're gonna grab the balloon. Um, you're going to grab your funnel, kind of put it right on the spout of the balloon. And this is a good time to grab a partner, grab a kiddo, um, and help you kind of like keep it just straight right there. Straight right in, so that way it can just fall through. Um, I'm going to add some salt and sugar. Um, and I know what you, you guys are probably asking like and thinking, oh, what's the difference between salt and uh, some sugar that we can add to a balloon? Um, and I've done this a few times and we actually did a test where we put salt in just a balloon and we put sugar and it feels completely different in a rubber balloon. So putting both in I think gives it a better texture but you can you can make that an experiment instead of just you know a little fun craft but it'll it'll feel a little different you can kind of see what what it is that it um, why it feels that way. All right our next step now that our balloon is filled with salt and sugar, we're going to go ahead and tie it. And you would just tie it like you would a normal balloon when you blow it up. Um, if not, you guys can always look up a video and see how you guys can do this. Just a normal little knot, just like that. So you know nothing's going to come out. Just like Alright, so now that we're done tying the balloon, everything's filled in nice and safe. I like to do one extra step. If you grab another balloon, and just cut this top part here. And if you're in the back seat and the kiddo has it in his hand and they are kind of messing with it and everything, that first layer is probably gonna be a little more stressful thinking it's gonna rip open. If you cut off that one layer, kind of just stuck it, stick it right in, it creates another layer of safety and peace of mind especially if you're in the car, if you're in a different part of the house, you don't want to keep messy. It's just another layer, you know, that you can squeeze just in case that first layer does rip. All right, so one thing I like to do with the last step, just make it a little more fun and personalize it. Um, you're just gonna grab a balloon and I like to just draw a face on it. Um, sometimes the kids will get a little more creative depending on what color the balloon is and they can draw a happy face, they can draw a character. If it's, a lot of times we have a lot of students that Captain America or an Avenger and match the color of the balloon and sometimes it's kind of nice if you just get like a, a marker you know color it right in make a happy face you can make an anger face so you know when when they use that stress ball is it because they're angry or is it because they're just happy all the time or is it because they're stressing out about something so it gives it a little nice touch um, right before you guys uh, let it dry and get some squeezing going on all right so just just another reminder you guys can use other things besides salt, sugar, you guys can use flour to fill up the balloon, you guys can use beans, rice, um, you can add all of them in. Uh, I like to use at least one kind of powder and maybe either a beans or some kind of beads to throw in the balloon. Um, and it makes it super simple, again it's not, it's not a long activity but it is a, an activity and a object that you guys can use for a long period of time as long as it's taken care of. Check out our videos at valleywymca.org.